I'm only here because my agent told me I have to be here. I'm the agent. Testing, testing, audio, telling a story, blah, blah, blah. I'm so interesting. She doesn't want to be this close to me. She said that. The camera was off, but she said, these seats are too close together. We're too close together. I said, fine, I'll go sleep in the guest room. Are you done? <laughs> that one let's take it down a notch that was terrible <laughs> it was in my ear welcome <laughs> welcome back to the channel why does it i do not sound good why T take it down just talk to him like it's somebody right there welcome back to the channel is that better better practice tell, tell me like you want welcome me back like i'm right here welcome back to the channel that's it do it Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what okay. a mess. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, go. Welcome back to the channel. We have a big, big milestone to celebrate with you guys today. One year! One whole year of this vlog channel. It's a big deal. It is, it is. How do, how do we start it? Why does this feel so awkward? It kind of sounds like you already started it. You just said what was going on. Hold on, I've got it. Hey y'all, it's been one year since we started vlogging. One year! Exactly one year ago. Today, April 28th, we launched our first vlog. Yeah, and it was kind of our farewell tour of Arizona. Yeah, so why did we start the vlog? You may tell? Yeah, you tell them. Because I mean, I think <laughs> so, I know, but you probably know a lot more. So I've <laughs> always been in to the thought of doing like a vlog or something fun, like video memories, I guess I'll say. And we came to a point last April where we knew that there was going to be a lot of big life changes. We, we saw the writing on the wall, so to say. So I wanted that memory capture. I wanted to be able to go back and kind of relive some of those big changes, the big moments. I wanted to remember where we were, what we did, kind of going through what is our story. And the vlog was born. Yeah, that about sums it up. I uh, just remember the beginning of it being very interesting trying to get out of Phoenix because our first trip was going up to Sedona because I had never been there living in Arizona for 10 years. And we decided we were going to go up through there and then we were going to spend the night in Flagstaff. And uh, if you've watched the vlog, you know why. Uh, it is because we wanted to eat at the restaurant that I proposed to her at. We wanted to visit it one last time. Before we left Arizona. Kind of, you know, a little bit of a goodbye tour to the parts we didn't go to a lot or any. Mm -hmm. um, so the first vlog, I'll insert some clips here. Road, drink secured. Woo! Siri, play road trip songs. Today's episode of This Trip's Not Going the Way We Planned. I'm, I might never recover from this news. Is this is actually the place where Brent proposed to me. Beautiful. Wish you could have seen it. Let's just say we've come a long way. We've really grown up in our editing personality, so to say. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of started off, I knew I wanted to tell a story in a vlog. I think that makes it interesting, right? There's something to follow along. And 
I didn't really know how. I was kind of, not that I was shy, it just felt kind of awkward to talk to a camera with nobody there. So I think we together have come a really, really long way, like in our storytelling, kind of jumping back and letting you know what happened, if you filmed it, if we didn't. Kind of like you're living the tale with us, so to say. And as a bonus, we get to relive the tale anytime we want. And sometimes there's some funny stuff in there. So I was actually going back, kind of clipping together, kind of highlights along the way, the journey of the last year. And I was rolling with laughter, going through and looking at like some of the snippets. Maybe I'll enjoy this montage. Frozen, 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 let it go. My goodness, this is where we finish each other's sandwiches. I got it. Okay. You're the face, but I'm the star. We finish each other's sandwiches. Outrage is so contagious, make you crave it. Jazzy made it. Whoa, I can't direct, okay? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that montage. It was fun to look back. But also let's talk about, so I mentioned earlier, I mentioned how we knew a lot of big life changes were gonna happen. We kind of saw the writing on the wall. It was gonna be a year of big change. Some of that big change was a new job, relocating, selling our home, landing in a place where neither of us have lived before and exploring what is bigger than some countries <laughs> yeah. as our backyard. Yeah. We took trips. We were just in a different place geographically. So we got to do a lot of different things. I pulled a couple of highlights from that also. So enjoy that. The Platts. Explore. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Are you so ready to go to NASA? Yes. Yes, I am. to the coolest place I've maybe ever been in my life. First experience at Magnolia Table. What do you think of the silos? It's your first time ever seeing them. They're taller than I thought they'd be. Love Lock Bridge. Ending on the Love Lock, we are going to decide where we want to place this. There it is, facing the buildings, looking at downtown in those unreasonably tall buildings. We are heading up north to Arkansas to go see my fam bam for the weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Leaking on me. That's really good. Awesome. Oh, look! Plus, he's hitting Vegas!
Shades of Extra. Yeah. And I took this as an opportunity to launch things. So the vlog is kind of like where we made announcements. Uh, I included in some vlogs announcements that went out on other social media platforms. So I just, you know, in the effort of celebrating effort. In the effort of celebrating effort. Okay. Let's, let's go back and look at some of the announcements we made. So apparently it's my turn to introduce the next segment. Uh, so once we did get to uh, Houston here, it was interesting to say the least, but I can say one of the benefits of that is we used to go to Bucky's almost every weekend. Nah, that's a little dramatic. Maybe every couple weekends. Maybe once a month. A little more than that in the first couple months, but we loved it. Um, Do we have an entire wardrobe of Bucky's shirts going through all the holidays in the year. Yes, we do. That's okay, we don't have to discuss that. Um, we love Bucky's, it was fun. So if you haven't watched some of our vlogs or you don't know this about us, we are massive big kids at heart. Yes. We love simple joys. And one of those simple joys is definitely Bucky's. <laughs> it's hard to explain the lure, lure, lure? Lure. Lure? Lure? Why is that word so hard? I don't... The draw. <laughs> the that, allure. The allure <laughs> that is Bucky's. It's a giant convenience store. Why is it so cool? I don't know. Emphasis on giant. Emphasis on everything they make is delicious. They can do no wrong. Here's a couple highlights from the Bucky's visits. You wanna go to Bucky's? What's your impression of Bucky's? It's a lot. <laughs> We're back. What do you think? I think. Check it out. Welcome back. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that montage. That oh, is Bucky's. Bucky's. And yes, I did get the one piece, the outfit. Bucky's was really important to us. It played a big role <laughs> in the last year. It's a happy place, don't judge. It is a happy place. It I is. love the smell when we go in there too. It's the, the mixture of barbecue and sweets and the sweet cinnamon covered pecans and almonds and whatever else they have with the right. fudge. It smells like a grandma's kitchen. <laughs> it does. It's delightful. But we do try to stop at Bucky's every time we go near one. Oh, let me fix my center, my tooth there. Um, <laughs> But we've also done other adventures. We uh, went to Waco so she could s show me Magnolia. Um, we visited San Marcos to go look at the outlet stores out there. Mm -hmm. um, we were misled that it was a Gucci outlet. It was not. We don't Gucci. have to unpack trauma on this. It was not a Gucci outlet. They don't need uh, to know how much my soul hurts. And we even went up to Dallas last uh, football season, or Arlington, oh, and watched. Oh. And there's our dog. She does not like the onesie. Um, I think we, probably the biggest journey that the vlog saw, because uh -huh. the vlog didn't see our whole entire life. The biggest journey was probably our trip to Disney. It was. It was. And if you'd like, we can show you some of that now. Beaver transition. We're going to Disney. We got group 10 for Tron. We are about to walk in. Well, we're getting on the monorail again. 
to go to Mickey's, what is it? Mickey's Very Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Party. That's, that's actually a great segue, so here we go. Okay, three, two, one. So one big thing for me uh, that we got to do when we moved out here is- Relax. We, <laughs> and back. Okay, one on. major thing. <laughs> okay, um, we'll start getting the kit. Okay. So one really, really fun, big thing we got to do once we moved out here was go to uh, the Johnson Space Center, uh, NASA. Which oh, was, yeah. Which was really cool. That was for my birthday um, back in 2023. And that was really incredible. They had... Moon rocks there you could touch. They, we touched the moon. We touched the moon. We touched Mars. We touched a piece of Mars. We uh, saw Saturn V rocket, the full thing. It's massive. We got to even go into the Apollo mission control room. And they played back in real time uh, the moon landing and everything that was going on in the control room at the time. And it was, it was pretty fun. I mean, I think I would need to Google to confirm. <laughs> But I think we're basically astronauts. Yeah, we were certified. They made us go up a couple flights of stairs. They said that's high enough. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. You're, like, you're, you're basically astronauts now. So, the astroplasts are here. The astroplasts. Speaking of astroplasts, our latest adventure uh, that we don't unfortunately have too much footage of, but we went to Arkansas to see the total solar eclipse and we had a perfect view of it it was incredible i think the vlog fam might have seen a short on that okay if not i'll have to go find the tiktok eh, doesn't matter but that was a big deal the big eclipse those are those are two of the highlights of being here for me two of the major things that we were able to do so the highlight of being so close to my family in that particular scenario was we just got to drive up. Yeah. We got to spend some time with the fam bam, but we didn't have to deal with flights, which I, I, I heard some people that price checked it. I didn't personally. <laughs> um, it was, you know, maybe a couple thousand dollars to fly into the path of totality. So, and we didn't have to worry about, we didn't have to do that. We actually, Board, didn't have to board our dogs. You know, we loaded up in the fam and went up north. So it was very convenient, very fun. Yep. Stayed with your parents a couple nights and mm -hmm. you know, it was great. Got to cook up there, do some of our uh, amazing dishes. I have started cooking again. So uh, she lets me do most of the seasoning because she likes the way I season things. So. Yeah. Um, something else we did this year that I'm going to have to go dig footage of. We bought a drone. I don't think I I don't think I actually filmed that. We got two drones and a new camera. So what started with the vlog via cell phones has progressed into a vlogging camera now. Yeah. And tripods and a GoPro and drones. We've advanced our career this year. It's been it's been really fun. We got some gadgets and some toys. We're doing this and we're having fun with it and that's all that really matters is that we get to have fun with it. It's a, a way for our friends and family to kind of see our, uh, our, lives. our lives. But also we're putting it out there for you, the internet, to also enjoy um, as we try to ham it up. No, we don't. Um, we are just normally goofy. <laughs> Actually that, Probably, people probably do think that we ham it up to a certain extent. <laughs> we don't. This is no. actually us. Some of it, literally, anything you see is one take. I'm not back filming no. the same thing 15 times outside of trying to pronounce the word lore earlier. Oh, this, lore. Whatever the word was. <laughs> earlier in this, which probably left all that in here for you to see. I, I don't do this as a career. I don't do this for money. I do this because it's fun for me. And my talent here gets to come along on the journey, whether he wants to or not, but he's a trooper and well, he sat down with us. Yeah. Why wouldn't I want to? I want to do anything that, that is this important to you. Of course. It's, it's the creative outlet. I, I really like 
I like what the recording gives us. It gives us those video memories. It captures the moment. We've done a lot of really big life stuff this year, so we can go back and look at it. Like I got really nostalgic when I was going through and clipping yeah. a bunch of the clips to insert that I knew we'd talk about. Well, so I did when you had me watch what you had already and we saw the house, the uh -huh. Chandler house, that one definitely. That I, got me in the feels, I almost cried. <laughs> I literally, like, it, I just remember that emotional state of like filming that and chopping it together. And if I did it now, it would probably be way cooler looking and probably be a lot more advanced. But like that was really early mm -hmm. and I was really proud of it. I'll, I'll show it here. The, the move outro, I guess you'll call it, that I did. The little yeah. memory, the look back. Um, We're doing it. It's real. Today's the day. The Plaths are going to Texas. memories we have them in an organized fashion where I can go back and I can rewatch the vlogs but it's also the creativity behind it it's the editing it's the software it's the the getting and tinkering with like I know I want it to be this way how do I get there how do I solve it I'm very fortunate that you've worked in tech before <laughs> so we've been able to kind of uh use teamwork and solve some problems. There That's would not sure. be a vlog if he didn't stop many emotional uh, <laughs> breakdowns. We'll go with that word, breakdowns. It's not working, what do I have to do? And then he comes to the rescue and boom, you get a vlog, so. All I do is tell her to turn it off and turn it back on again. He's not wrong, it works most of the time. <laughs> but other than that, I have broken the laptop more than once and he's been able to Swoop in and fix it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> well, it helps that we have the same laptop. Yeah. So. Well, I get we didn't list that off. We upgraded laptops this year. Yeah. 
Because I got one for the gaming I like to do, and her laptop was really struggling with video editing. So I went ahead and ordered her the same laptop I use for gaming with a good uh, video card in it. She doesn't have any problems anymore. A1. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess it's time to wrap things up and tell the people goodbye for now and I uh, can't wait to see what the next year brings us. Okay, we look different. Our camera overheated. <laughs> We'll figure it out later. That's a problem for later us. But what we were doing was we were getting ready to say goodbye. And I want to genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for coming along the journey of the last year, coming along this little ride down memory lane we've taken. Yeah. I hope you stick around. I think next year is gonna be just as fun, more stuff to come. And with that, make sure you like, Subscribe, and we'll see you next time.